then come, goes to Hazaribag, St. Xavier's, as a builder for two years, 77-78. Then minister as St. Xavier's Doranda, 78-80, to 80, two years. Parish priest in Soso, 80 to 84. Then comes to Jamshedpur province as a sub minister and farm in charge in this same house, Jesu Bhavan, from 1988 to 1991. Then he was for a year or two in Pursuri St. Robbers as a parish priest. From there he moves to Dinobili Digwadi as the treasurer and the minister from 1992 to 2000. From there, he, uh, he was the parish priest there when the 1988 was St. Mary's Parish was established, Digwadi Parish, the first, first time, and later parish priest of St. Mary's Chandankyari, newly established parish again from 2000 to 2003. There itself he was there for uh, from 2000 to 2011, establishing the whole campus of Chandan Kiari there, the greenery and uh, the campus you see now is contribution, including the purchase of the property there. Then moves to TRTC as a farm in charge in uh, Chaibasa, TRTC. Then moved to Chaira Loyola School, the farm in charge in Chaira, there for two years, then 2014 he moves to the, to the infirmary in XLRI Gaidra residence, praying for the society and to the church. You can't imagine he has rendered these services in five provinces, five Jesuit provinces. Ranchi is mother province originally, Calcutta, Hazaribagh, MP, and last, Jamshedpur. Truly a universal man. For him, God's mission transcended all boundaries. Not only the state boundary from Kerala, but also the province boundaries. Father Casey Anthony's family has given, a plen given plenty of vocations to the church. There are about six priests his cousins, nephews, nieces, nephews, around six priests and 11 nuns. Great f family indeed. Today, his whole family all over the world joins in this funeral mass virtually and some, in, some of them in, in person. We thank Jesse, the niece of Father Casey, and her son Jitin here with us and uh, Sister Elsie Cherry and SCJM joining us in person. As we surrender the soul of Father Casey in the hands of God, we pray that God give him eternal reward. We also thank God for the gift of Father Casey to the Society of Jesus and to the Church. And on behalf of the Society of Jesus, I express my heartfelt gratitude to the family of Father Casey Anthony, who offered such a lovely gift to the society and to the church. Our heartfelt, our heartfelt condolences and prayerful support to the entire bereaved family. May Father Casey Anthony intercede for us all from heaven. May his soul rest in peace. Dear brothers and sisters, life what we see is more than what we experience. And that is what in death we accompany and we celebrate. And when we come and with this body to meet the God and Lord we accompany because life is in relation to each other, here on this earth and then beyond. And at this juncture, as we bring the body of our brother, priest, one who has worked with us, let us remember our reciprocity, or we have met him in different times. 
let us pray for him and it's something is still to be reconciled let us pray for him and pray for oneself so that we are in reconciliation with him and also in the mission places as we listen from provincial he has worked in different states as a missionary so that he says bye bye and reconciles and enters to the kingdom of peace which is god himself has made and awaiting as now prepare for this eucharistic celebration let us call upon our own an ordinance and ask for god's mercies lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Anthony Casey, whom you have called to journey to you. and since he hoped and believed in you grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever first reading a reading from the saint from the letter of saint paul to the philippians for us our homeland is in heaven and from heaven comes the savior we are waiting for the lord jesus christ and he will transfigure these rest bodies of her into copies of his glorious body he will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe the word of the lord
Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I am the life and the resurrection, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. So John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirit, and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. The poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today, for uh, our reflection, we have taken the readings first from uh, Philippians and the second from the Gospel of uh, St. Luke. First reading talk about what is our homeland and Paul says our homeland is heaven. And uh, from there our Savior comes to welcome us. And what is he going to do? He will transfigure our wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. Now for that matter, you look at uh, any of the missionaries, and especially the case of Casey Anthony, he had uh, this attitude. He always thought that heaven is the homeland. And uh, one of the things, if you look at him, we admire his, uh, his, his seriousness of uh, his vocation and priesthood. He did it. He lived his life as a religious and a priest to the full. Because he knew that uh, home, uh, sorry, heaven is his homeland. And for that, he was ready to do anything. And uh, if you look at him, again we can see, like Jesus, he too transfigured his wretched body for the sake of the Lord and for others and uh, tried to make it as holy as possible and as useful as possible for the others. Now, if you look at uh, all his ministries, wherever he went, he was here in uh, Yeshu Bhavan, he was in Dhyanasram, he was in uh, uh, different other places in uh, Chhattisgarh, Ranji, Hazariba, Kolkata, and so on. If you look at him, one of the things he did is, uh, wherever he went, he wanted to make a heaven out of uh, that place. The first thing he thought is uh, living with nature and uh, uh, cultivating trees and uh, growing vegetables and this and that. And when we were here, novices, that is the time he came here. And we used to fool him later. He came in an open jeep full of um, all kinds of plants 
and a few chickens and all. And uh, we were all waiting here. He comes out of that jeep. We couldn't see because uh, all filled with uh, uh, various flower, uh, flower plants and other plants and vegetables and uh, some chicken. Uh, and as soon as jeep stopped, some of them flew out of the jeep. So later on his uh, jubilee time, I told him it was something like uh, Hanuman bringing that mountain and uh, coming to the, uh, you know, something like that. So that was, and whenever he went to home or uh, wherever, he found a new plant, some seeds, uh, and uh, came and uh, planted he, wherever he was. And wherever he was, if you look at do, he made that place a livable place, a heaven on earth. Honey and uh, or uh, fruits and uh, milk flowing there, uh, honey also. And he had uh, lived a life uh, very close to the nature, a lover of animals, and he had uh, all kinds of uh, animals wherever he went, and uh, even sometimes he had uh, some snakes in his room. So that was Father Casey Anthony. And uh, the gospel, if you looked at, John's, John had, John knew that he is going to die, he will be killed, and uh, he was a bit disturbed with. And then he sent his disciples to Jesus to ask him, are you the one to come or are we to wait for someone else? And Jesus Immediately, what he did is uh, he performed a few miracles, cured a few people, and then he told them, told the disciples of John, you go and tell John what you have seen and what you have heard. Then John will understand. And that is one of the ways of uh, recognizing a person of God. What Jesus did, he also will do. And if you look at of uh, Father Kay, we can say that uh, he also did the same thing. One of the ministries he had uh, always uh, performed was a healing ministry. He had uh, his magnets, he had his uh, uh, massage machine, and uh, so many things, and uh, all kinds of oils. Anyone who him, yeah, they feel better. Many of us have experienced the healing power of his hand. Very good at massage. You come with a, a frozen shoulder or a, uh, things of that sort. Go to him, he, a little massage. As, as soon as his hand touches, you feel a kind of a power uh, flowing. And in Chandangari, one of the ministries he performed was this healing ministry, massage. He said, many people who were bedridden, and people said that, or a doctor said that they cannot walk anymore, they will be bedridden for life, went to him, and he said, within an hour of a massage or an electric massage, they get up, and some of them, not only walking, out of joy, jumps around, he says. And he has done it. So God has given him that power, power to heal. And if you look at uh, the places he has gone, Today's uh, uh, ordinary reading, we talk, uh, we hear about uh, the the water. Moses uh, hitting the uh, rock and water issuing forth, and the same way, Casey had his uh, uh, divining machine or uh, that uh, bamboo stick and his uh, rosary, and he goes around and finds the divine water. I am sure that uh, the province and the diocese area, most of our missions where we have the wells divined by Father Casey Anthony. He always thought uh, the good of others. And anyone went to him for anything, either massage or uh, medicine or divining the water, he never said no. He was always available. One of the complaints he had was uh, this. There is no well in our houses. So that was uh, of late, that was the main complaint. There is no bell. How do I know that it is time for prayer? And sometimes uh, mass, I have to rush. And he is there in the chapel, 
but then is the complaint he wants to be in time for all prayers and one of the difficulties i faced during his last days whenever i go to xlri he will take the breviary and say that i do not know where to find the prayers now earlier it was all by heart now can you just uh, 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 show me the pages now these were his worries how to pray am i pray praying well and uh, am i uh, useful to the lord now he was the oldest member of uh, uh our province and as well as uh, the infirmary i think he was uh, from 2012 14 14 on was he was in the infirmary now we have uh, a dozen people died after his going there but casey was there in their rooms when others are not there with his rosary sitting and praying one thing and looking at them and if they have any discomfort running to other people and telling you know he is uh, having problem please come and attend to him so much concerned about uh, others so therefore sometimes we called him kc kind and compassionate antony so that was kc he was very kind towards anyone who was in need who was sick and uh, compassionately looked after them and uh, sitting with uh, the sick people praying giving massage and sometimes he says if i have my massage machine i would have made them walk so these are uh, the qualities uh, of a casey a person who made uh, any place a heaven and uh, knowing that uh, it is the it it is our homeland today as we look at him we thank the lord for uh, this mighty person who has gone around uh, doing such a wonderful work for the lord in the beginning of his ministry in uh, chatisgarh there was no roads and many of the roads through the jungles are made by him and uh, today some of the villages if they have a uh, road connectivity it is because of uh, father kc antony and uh, he thought of the people started that uh, agriculture training center in a college in uh, atc in ranchi always i left my home for the lord and uh, i will be useful to the people till the last moment that was kc's only concern want to be useful today when we say goodbye to him thank the lord for uh, him and also we thank the uh, uh, thank father casey this kind and compassionate person for uh, uh, giving an example of a religious life and human life to all of us we have a spontaneous pray of the faithful heavenly father thank you for the life of father kc hanjani he has given his best of life to the missionary service as you have called him back we surrender him to you accept him and grant him eternal life we make this prayer lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer we pray for the province jamshedpur may we example for the youngsters young priests those who are in the missions through cases way of life learn to give oneself fully for the cause of god's kingdom and then for the cause of church let us pray lord hear our prayer we we'll pray for all the parishioners where father casey established the parishes in different provinces they fondly remember him even in chatisgarh and uh, 
MP, there'll be some sure they'll be watching, attending this funeral virtually. <coughs> Pray for all of them, that God may bless them abundantly and carry forward the mission, missions that Father Casey Anthony started. May God bless those missions. For this, pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. We pray for the bereaved family members. Some of us are here, and some of us are at home could not make possible to come over here. May they be consoled by his Father Casey's activities and as he has given his life for the people. And may they share in this mystery of journey that is beyond death. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, on this day we have very many prayers. All those we bring along and hand over to you everything. May this be realized in our day-to-day -day life as a blessing. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice to our hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our mother and the God is for the church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial, sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Anthony Casey, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be our loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts in the name of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
We sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Telespor, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Casey Anthony, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with <coughs> Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In our lifetime, always we pray, Thy kingdom come. And in God's kingdom, there are many things which we are yet to learn, even on this earth, as well as beyond this life. Today, let us pray for that blessing, so that we will have a wisdom and patience, divine patience, so that we learn God's will and his kingdom come. Let us pray for this grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your persons, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, especially Father Casey, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Are are we who are called to this banquet? Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Please say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring all of us to eternal life. Amen.
my dear bishop for the provincial my dear uh, friends as we are uh, bidding farewell to father kc anthony we gratefully remember a few people first of all we thank the lord for uh, the life that god has given to father kc anthony and he lived uh, it in full we thank the lord and for this today's function our bishop uh, has come here and uh, uh, celebrated mass with us and uh, said uh, farewell to father kc anthony we thank you dear bishop for your presence and encouragement to all of us a few other people we have to remember the gaidra residents community father uh, james kalapura and uh, all other members in the house they have been traveling with the kc day for yesterday night uh, father was sitting with him and giving him water and talking and every now and then sending messages to different people saying that uh, this is the condition of kc now and he was uh, much better uh, at two o'clock three o'clock at different times so that is was the care father james has given to kc i was there in the evening and uh, i had a very um, enriching experience with the kc we after supper i went to his room and he said uh, the first thing he told me is uh, uh, the field is ready and uh, tuesday we have to sow the seed so i started just joking with him i asked him what is the field is ready did you plow everything and he said everything is i said then why do you wait for tuesday so he said uh, no no that is the appropriate day then father james also came so we started that uh, so he was bit uh, disoriented and then started talking about so this was a uh, so his field is ready and his master is waiting for him so and uh, we also would to, uh, would like to remember the mercy hospital community the way you have a uh, looked after him especially last uh, few days and uh, when we have uh, admitted him in the icu the first time he was disoriented and uh, your patients with him that is something tremendous the nurses and the sisters and everyone and uh, an occasional visit you have made to him we appreciate that and uh, excellent we have uh, a few others who were uh, look looking after him ranjan and uh, tarun uh, uh, noel uh, and uh, habil and all those people they have been too good to him not only to him every sick people we very fondly remember them and thank all of them for uh, all that uh, they have done to father kc and here i am sure that we have uh, some people his uh, spiritual children some of the priest even till last month going for confessions and uh, uh, to kc anthony and kc never said uh, no anyone any time asking for any spiritual help he was there i remember all the spiritual children of uh, father kc and uh, thank you for giving him that importance and uh, still going to him uh, and also today we have uh, his family members jesse jitin and uh, uh lc cherian and others from the family and also others from the family they have been calling to father james and me and others asking about thank you for your concern and also we thank you for giving him to the society thank you very much and after the program after the burial uh father superior of uh, this community father ajit ask all of us to stay back we have the lunch here for all of us it is prepared and please join for the lunch and go back now uh, jitin wants to say a few words it's indeed a sad occasion for all on behalf of all the mem members of kadukunu family 
we express our deepest gratitude to God Almighty for providing Father Casey Anthony, our uncle, a lengthy life which he fruitfully dedicated for the service of God and his needy people. We are proud that he has been zealous and dedicated Jesuit priest. He has been an inspiration to the family members and guided us all with his exemplary life. Father Casey has served God and the Jesuit society for about six decades, having been ordained in 1962. He has carried out his priestly ministries at different levels and in various positions. By all means, he has been an asset to our family and Jesuit family. Besides attending to spiritual needs of the people, he became dear to all whom he dealt with. On this occasion, we now gratefully thank the Provincial Reverend Father Jerry and the former Provincials for nurturing and supporting our uncle in his ministries. At this juncture, we specially thank Reverend Father James Kalapura, former Provincial, Father K. Joseph, for being a staunch supporter and companion, especially during the last years of our uncle. We now extend our sincerest feelings and deepest gratitude to Father Sonny Jacob, who was no less than a son to him, as Father Sonny worked with our uncle so passionately to build up Chandankari mission. Father Anthony exhibited his skills as an agriculturist, horticulturist. His herbal and magnet therapy is also popular. Once again, we convey our sincerest gratitude to all Reverend Fathers and Reverend Sisters and all lady, all who have been in supportive in his worldly mission. We utilize this moment to convey our deep felt gratitude and love to the dedicated nurses in Mercy Hospital for their hospitality. May the good Lord bestow his immense grace upon each for the concern and love to our uncle. May the merciful Lord receive his soul and may the eternal Father reward him with everlasting peace. Let us pray. Lord God, whose son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it our brother Casey Anthony may come to the eternal table of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you Amen. and may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We'll have immediately now the blessing prayer. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother, Casey Anthony, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ, the good shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the, present, in the presence of the eternal King. Let us pray for some time in silence.
Heavenly Father, into your hands we commend our brother, Casey Anthony. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the f fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord.